Hey guys, this is Steve Sterlacci, and this is what's on my pedal board for early 2019. Uh, two things before we get started. I'm using my favorite D'Angelico 175 Deluxe with TV Jones pickups. Comes stock like that. And also, I'm powering this entire pedal board with the True Tone CS6. So let's go over to the pedal board, and I'll show you guys what I have on here. So if we come down here to my pedal board, uh, you'll see a pretty good array of things, but the crown jewel of this is my HX Stomp. And since I got this a couple months ago, it's really been a game changer for me because I've been a Helix user for over two years. And admittedly, I might have missed my pedals sometimes. It could have been mental. It could have been not. But I really wanted to get one of these HX Stomps to integrate with my regular pedals. And to celebrate getting the HX Stomp, I hadn't bought a pedal from, you know, a real pedal in over two years since I had the Helix. So once I got the HX Stomp, I decided it'd be a good idea to splurge and get that vintage Nobles over here, which are, you know, pretty pricey, but that kind of inspired me to rebuild this board. So I ordered this great creation music company, Aero pedal board, and decided to build this uh, smaller size, but super powerful board. So again, the HX Stomp is the real center of all this because it's doing my amp modeling and uh, I'm not going through any type of amplification on stage. I'm going from this into a DI box to front of house or direct into my interface to record. So what I have it set to here, this is my uh, Princeton simulation. It's a deluxe reverb, well, just deluxe, I guess, because there's no reverb on the model, but this is my, uh, I kind of tone matched my own Princeton at home, and this is kind of what I came up with. So let's turn everything off. And this is the Princeton just by itself. So that's the Princeton alone. It's a decent clean sound, but I always keep this RC booster on just to give me a little bit more fatness in the sound. So it adds a little bit of beef to the signal. And uh, now from there, I can go back to the beginning. So first in the chain is my Wampler Ego Comp. And I use this for like my chicken picking sounds. You know, it's it's a really great compressor. It's so diverse and can do so many different things, but it works great with the stomp because sometimes going direct, you don't get as much sustain as you would like, but the Wampler has this sustain knob here, which allows you to add sustain. So when you're going direct with the stomp or the helix, it's a really great thing to have just to add a little bit more fatness and sustain. So here's what that sounds like. <laughs> So that's my compressor. Um, the GE7 Analog Man modded this for me and it's really great. It's super quiet. Um, there's no added noise no matter where you put it. I have this set right now for an acoustic guitar. And what's cool about this is I can go on my stomp here, go down to presets and I have my acoustic guitar sound. So I'm using this for my acoustic live. Just, you know, this signal has just a little bit of a slapback, LA Studio Comp and the volume pedal but the EQ is mostly coming from this Analog Man uh, GE7. So back up to the Princeton, again, my main sound. Then from the Analog Man, I go into the RC Booster, which you already know about. And then from there, I go into this Old Nobles, one of the greatest pedals I think ever made. And I saw all these session guys swearing by this pedal, and I thought it's either a gimmick or there has to be something really special about it. And there's definitely something special about it. So here's this. So I use it for some light gain stuff, but it can also turn up this gain knob. So it can do a wide variety of things. From there, I go into my OCD, and this is the one that I think kind of is gonna be coming and going off this board. But um, I use this when I need a little bit more gain. So if I have like a sound, a, you know, a session or something or a song that needs a little bit more drive, this is kind of what I'm going with here. So 
you know, it's OCD. There's a plenty of, uh, of demos out there, but I also use it a lot, you know, with some lower gain, just as like a little bit of a clean boost that gives it a little bit more hair. <laughs> So now from the OCD, I go into the HX stomp, which I just told you about the amp part, but the rest of this is a volume pedal, which is the Dunlop Volume X that I have over there. I got a tremolo in here. I have an analog echo and an elephant man and another analog echo. So I have this Morningstar MC6 down here that's going to be controlling all of the effects that I have going on in the HX stomp. So I'm not limited by these three foot switches. This is my tap tempo, that's why it's blinking. And these are my preset bank up and down. And everything else I control from this Morningstar MC6. Super powerful unit, really great capabilities. Um, I can't recommend it enough, but for what I use it for, it's pretty simple. It's just to turn things on and off. So for example, I got my tremolo on and off. quarter note delay, really dark setting, uh, dotted eighth note. And then you see here, this one says edge off. Um, I use this for a different bank. If I go preset down to this song, this is look at me that way. This is a Jessica Lynn song. And I use this edge type of sound for this song. So I just page down to this one and it has all of my delays set a different way. A little bit different amp settings, but mostly the same. And this is what this sounds like. So it's that really cool edge, you know, dotted eighth dancing delay. Cool one to play with. So back up to my Princeton sim. From the um, now from the HX stomp, I go into this MXR reverb, which I think is my favorite reverb by far because it's not complicated to use and it sounds so good. So what I have in there right now is just a regular room reverb. Nice, just you know, standard room reverb. You guys have been hearing that. But the other presets on this are so good. Like if I page this one's called Epic. And I use this all the time for like different swelling things and different atmospheric parts. Put some delays on this. So that's a really cool part of it. It's also got a great, you know, spring reverb. It's a good, you know, digital spring reverb. And it's also got a plate. It's got a modulation one it's on it. It's got this pad cool. setting, which is really great. And uh, I saw Tim Pierce have the same pedal and with the same setting. So I decided to dive into it and it's really, really cool. And that's with just the reverb on. It's such a cool sound. But yeah, for the most part, I keep it on my room setting or that uh, or that epic setting. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions on this pedal board, you can leave them in the comments below, and I will get right back to you. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.